Hey guys, if you are looking for a quick fix for your low back pain, this 10 minute workout is going to help with relieving back pain in just 10 minutes. We're gonna do that by focusing on your core, your hips, relieving strain on your low back, and by the end of this routine, you're gonna be feeling a lot better and that pain will be uh, reduced significantly or eliminated altogether. You don't have to have any yoga experience or flexibility to do this routine. Just do your best and follow along. Um, we are going to be using a yoga block, but if you don't have a block, you can use a foam roller um, or you can get by without one, you'll be fine. All right, let's get started. On your back. And this routine is going to work on uh, stretching, but also on strengthening. So the best way to relieve pain is by getting muscles more active, not just stretching. So that's what we'll be doing here. We're going to start with some very easy single leg reverse crunches. So you're going to start with your knees above your hips, bring one leg forward, keep the other leg where it is, and then just alternate back and forth here. If you want to make this more intense, you can lift your shoulders off the ground. If this is painful for you, you can plant your foot instead of extending it all the way out. So see what I'm doing now? Just planting my foot about a foot in front and then bringing the knee of the other leg above the hip. So you can start here with this easy movement and then you can progress to extending the leg all the way forward. Depending on your back, if it's more painful, you can bring your legs higher up. And if it is less painful, if it feels okay, you can try bringing your legs closer to the ground. We're gonna do this for about a minute. You can maybe bring your hands behind your head if you have pain in your neck and you're doing this. Not to lift your head up, but just to kind of support your head and try to keep your shoulders lifted so that you're working your abs here. Remember, we wanna work the muscles in your hips and your core to relieve strain on your lower back. All right, and then go ahead and relax. Plant your feet, relax your head down. And now we're going to move to a, a little corrective exercise that's gonna help with your back, your core, your hips. So start with your knees above your hips, and then you're going to grab onto one leg, grab onto the top or just below your knee with your right hand, and then press your left hand into your left thigh. Now you're gonna push your left hand and your left thigh into one another, so like there's a little battle there, and then you're going to push your right knee forward while pulling back with your right hand. Squeeze that for five seconds, relax, and then switch. So now you're gonna put your left hand just below your left knee, you're gonna put your right hand into your right thigh, push, hand into thigh, press your thigh into your hand, remember both legs here, and then relax and switch. And we're gonna do that 10 times. So again, walking you through this, putting your right hand just below your right knee, pressing your left hand into your left thigh, push the knee into the hand, and then push the hand into the thigh, resist in both directions, and then relax. Switch sides, do that again. Right hand pushing into your right thigh, left knee pushing into your left hand, and resisting with both. Just five seconds, and then relax and switch. So this will take you a couple minutes to do. Depending on how your back feels, you can go less or more intense. You do want to try and make this intense. We are trying to kind of correct the alignment in your hips and your spine here, and that's not going to happen by doing it super easily. So you do want to add some intensity to this. Really push and pull with your hands and your thighs. If your neck is getting painful here, use your core a little bit more. See if you can find a more comfortable position with your neck. Or you can relax your head down entirely. You're welcome to do that as well. Be mindful of your back here. So you don't want to have any pain in your back as you're doing this. If you're doing this and it's hurting your back, this probably just isn't the right exercise for you today. Not all exercises are going to help with your back. Low back pain is different. There's tons of different types of back pain, of low back pain. So some exercises are gonna be helpful for some people, and on the other hand, other exercises, that same exercise is gonna be super unhelpful and cause pain for somebody else. So just be aware that low back pain differs from person to person. 
I do have a program for that called Bulletproof Your Back, and you guys should get phase one of that for free on my website. I put the link for that in the description here. All right, so we're getting close to five per side. Let's do one more to finish it off. And then relax. Relax your feet down, relax your head down. Just give yourself a couple of breaths to kind of reset here. And then I want you to grab a block. And if you don't have a block, you can grab a foam roller. If you don't have a foam roller, that's OK. You can use your hands between your legs like this. If you do have that tool, put it between your thighs. Relax your head on the ground. And then you're going to squeeze whatever's between your legs as hard as you can for five seconds. And if you don't have the tool, remember, you can just squeeze your hands between your legs. Relax. And now you're going to bring your hands outside your thighs, or kind of outside your knees, and push there while resisting with your legs. So five seconds pushing there. Relax. And then block or foam roller between the legs. Squeeze there, five seconds. Hard. Relax. And then pushing into the outer thighs with the hands, five seconds. And resisting with the thighs and hands. Relax. Block between the thighs, five seconds. That's our third one, going up to five. Squeeze your hands into the outsides of your knees. Resist with your thighs and your hips. Relax. Hands or blocks between the thighs. Squeeze. Five seconds. Relax. And then hands outside, knees. Five seconds. Trying to get curious about this exercise. We got one more to each side. So you want to think about as you're doing this, what's working? How can I work this more? What am I feeling in my body? What's my back doing? What are my hips doing? What's my core doing? And if you can get curious about your body, that's going to help you be consistent with this. All right. And relax. All right. So there's our five per side. Now we're going to plant your feet in front of your hips, and we're just going to move your feet or move your knees from side to side. Keep your feet planted and just kind of gently move your knees from side to side. So we're going to loosen up your lower back here. Breathe in and out of your nose. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. We just did a decent amount of core work. You probably have a lot of tension up there. And this is a really easy, gentle exercise to help loosen up your low back. So we're doing this for about two more breaths. Make sure that you're keeping the feet planted. If you have a stiff low back, we don't want to do too much stretching for your low back. Instead, we want to focus on strengthening, building stability. And that's what we did for the first, uh, for most of this workout. All right, now from here, we're going to go up into a bridge. So we need to push down through your feet, squeeze your butt, lift your hips. Make sure that you're using your glutes to support yourself here. Your knees, your hips, your ankles are in a straight line. Shoulders and neck are relaxed. Push down through your feet. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your butt. Breathe in and out of your nose. And this is a really nice way to get your spine into some safe extension or arching your back safely. And a lot of us are just going to have low back pain because we aren't strong in this position. So this is helping to build strength there. So not only are we relieving low back pain, but we're also addressing the root cause here. So this is good to hold for 60 seconds. We're going to do two more breaths here. Keep squeezing your butt. Keep pushing down through your feet. Keep squeezing your core. And focus more on the hip and the core engagement than on how high you get. Last exhale here. And then slowly release your hips down. Now we're going to go a single leg and knee to chest. So I want you to bring your right leg straight out in front of you. Bring your knee, left knee over the left hip. Grab that knee and then very gently bring your guide your knee in toward your shoulder. And if this hurts at any point, don't go that far. So find a depth that's manageable, lightly bringing your knee in toward your chest. As you exhale, relax your lower back. But I want you to tighten through your hip flexors and core. So we're working on engaging the muscles in your hips and your core to help release 
the tight muscles in your low back that are probably causing that pain. So we want to get the, specifically what we're stretching here is uh, your erector spinae. Those are the muscles that are around your low back. And those muscles, when they get really tight and angry, they cause pain in your low back. So we want to get those muscles to relax. But in order to do that, we have to shift the pressure out of your low back and into your hips and your core, into those muscles that should be working, but probably just aren't, mostly because we're just weak in that position. We sit a lot. We don't do the right exercises. All right, and then slowly release. Left leg comes out. Very slowly bring your right leg in. Grab the right knee. Very lightly, gently guide that knee in toward the shoulder just as much as you can go without any pain or discomfort whatsoever. You shouldn't have any tinging. There shouldn't be any dull, aching pain. So I only want you to go as far as you can without any pain. If that means that your knee stays above your hip, that's fine. And again, if this routine isn't working for you, if this is just causing you more pain, then this is not the right movement for you at the moment. Again, low back pain differs from person to person. There are some exercises that are super helpful to some people, and those same exercises will be, they'll exacerbate, they'll make the issue, wor the issue worse in other people. So just be aware, it's going to differ from person to person. Again, I do have a program that goes through those changes and helps you decide which exercises to do called Bold Proof Your Back, and you can get phase one of that for free in the description. Link for that is in the description below here. And then there are three or four total phases that you'll get if you join my app slash members area. And that'll take you from pain to no back pain over the course of a few months. The cool thing about that is you'll get pain relief immediately and you should feel pain relief immediately after this workout, too. All right, let's go ahead and release. And now I want you to stand up and just give yourself a little assessment. How does your back feel now from when it started? So I want you to bend over and reach down, maybe touch your toes, maybe stand up, move from side to side. And hopefully you'll notice a difference from start to finish. And if there is, this is something that you can do on a daily basis, twice, maybe three times per day. And if you do this enough, this will help with relieving back pain in the long term. Um, but again, you do want to make sure that you're doing all the other stuff that goes into this hip mobility, core strength, spinal mobility, and spinal strength. And that's what you do when you follow a program. So you can learn more about that. Again, phase one of that program is free at the link below. Um, if you're looking for more workouts right now, uh, I would check out a... Um, Here's a 10 minute routine for core strength that I would check out. That's really good for working on your back. Guys, make sure you subscribe, like this video, leave a comment if you have some feedback, and I'll see you on the next video.